this I'm gonna switch to my side panel and what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a um, a curve that goes along the tail here and we're gonna extrude along that curve so I'm gonna go up to create and then I'll go to CV curve tool and then you can see my mouse cursor has changed I'm gonna start here at the beginning of the tail I'm gonna click once and then I'll add another point here one here and one up here okay I'm done creating this curve so I'm gonna press enter or return and then I'm gonna press Q for my selection tool I'm gonna to right click on this and go to uh, control vertex so now I can select these vertices and I can move this okay so it's a little bit hard to see uh, this so I'm gonna turn off my reference image right here alright so here we have our curve I'm gonna press 3 on the keyboard and then I can uh, get a better view of our curve here so I'm gonna go back and turn my reference image back on here so I'm gonna try and move this so that it fits with the pattern here okay so I'm satisfied with that I'll turn off my reference image right here I'm gonna right click and go to object mode so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a new cylinder right here alright so that's gonna drop the cylinder in my scene now I'm gonna go to poly cylinder one and I'm gonna change the subdivision size to our subdivision axis to six and then I want to rotate this cylinder I want to place it at the beginning of this curve so I'm going to just hit F to frame it I'll rotate it a little bit more and I'll place it right here Okay. so uh, this needs to be a little bit smaller I would say so I'm going to scale it down some more alright so now I'm going to go to my perspective panel here and I'm going to take a look at shape here so I'm gonna rotate this because I want the let me go to wireframe unshaded here I want to have a center line to match up so we're going to connect this these two faces with our tail right here so I'm gonna hit E for my rotate tool and I'm gonna rotate this let's see here let me go to rotate X here and change this to negative 90 and then I can rotate here on Z let's say this is gonna be what let's say 30 degrees on Z okay alright so now I'm gonna hit Q right click go to face and I'm gonna select one two three four five six faces I'm gonna hold down shift and select the curve and then I'm gonna press the extrude button right here okay so that goes that extrudes all the way out to the end of the curve and it doesn't really help us right now but if I go over here to the inputs and I go all the way down to the bottom and go to divisions and change this to something like say 12 you can see that our extrusion now follows along that curve alright so now I'll just go to my side panel here and I'll start to modify each of these rings here so I'm press R and scale this stuff down We'll just make the tail pointy at the end here. There we go. All right, so I'm going to right click, go to object mode, and then what I want to do is I want to go to modify, I'm sorry, go to edit, delete by type, and then go to history. Okay, that's going to separate the object, the cylinder, from the um, the uh, curve right here. So I can move this down a little bit. And let's see, we'll just move this over. 
Okay, so now what we can do is go to the face mode on the mouse character here, hit extrude, and we can scale this in. Press R and we'll scale in even further here. And I'll scale these together. I'll rotate them. I just want to make a smaller set right here. Take these two faces and we'll push them down. Okay. And maybe I'll take the edge right here in the center. And I'll scale that up a little bit. Rotate it. Okay, so I'm going to take these two faces, delete them. I'll go to this object, take all the faces on the end here, hold down control and unselect the other faces. Okay, so we have just the faces on the end of the tail. I'll delete those. Right click, go to object mode, select the objects, the two objects right here, and we'll combine them. Okay, and then I'll take my pen tool and we'll connect these two objects with faces here, new faces. So now our tail is connected, and I'm going to hit Q, right click, go to object mode, and I'll press 3, and you can see I'll actually turn off my wireframe unshaded. And now the uh, tail is connected to the body here. Okay. All right, so I'm going to press 1, and then at the top here, we need to extrude out these two faces for the uh, little hair on the top of his head here. So I'm going to hit extrude, go up, and then I'll scale in. Scale in even more. And come down. And then I'm going to turn my reference image back on. Yeah. So I'm just going to scale this in to match up with this little piece of hair coming out right here. So I'll hit extrude again and I'll hit W and just bring this up. Rotate it and we'll scale it in. All right. And then I'll select this face right here. We'll extrude this out and then scale it in. looks pretty good. Okay. Select this face right here on this side. I'll hit extrude. I'll go up and we'll scale in. And here I'll hit W, move this over. And then I'll have to rotate a little bit here. Push this over. Now I'm going to take my edge loop tool, insert an edge loop here, and rotate this edge loop. Let's see. And maybe we'll push this out a little bit. And then we'll add in an edge loop right here. And that way we can take the corner on the top of this piece and just curve it over a little bit. We'll do the same thing here. Just push this over a little bit. So.
So let's see how we're doing here. I might um, take this edge at the top right here and scale that in. And maybe take this edge and scale it in. And now I think we'll have something that will represent uh, the hairs on the top there. So I'm going to press 3 and go to our smooth mode here. And I'll just check this. That's pretty close. I'm not looking for perfection. All right. Okay. So that is the conclusion of the modeling process for this cartoon mouse.